guys, West Coast Southern coming at you from another on another video. Uh, last night I was at the house in my office and uh, I was reading uh, some of the common threads on uh, Revzilla and I saw that uh, women now make up like what is it? See, nineteen percent of uh, U.S. riders, and I think that's pretty cool because. I, myself, believe that uh, there should be more women riders, officers, firefighters, all that kind of stuff. I believe women can do anything men can do, and they're probably do it better, let's be honest. <laughs> you know, women do it right, men take shortcuts. Yeah, I'm going to work on Christmas Eve. And, uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool. Um, that study was done by the uh, Motorcycle Industry Council. And there's some other good facts that I'll get you, uh, hopefully, at the next light. Wow. Woo. So, just reading through this article. Uh, since 2009, the number of women riders nearly doubled from 10 to 19 percent and I think that's awesome especially seeing how uh, my wife rides and um, my four-year-old and my one-year-old uh, daughters are already interested in in the motorcycles so maybe first vehicle maybe not we'll see uh, let's see what else has he got Oh, uh, there's actually, in that study by the MIC, I'm going to link this article in the description, but it said that, um, I can't use that finger, love these gloves though. Uh, let's see, actually on average, might have to continue this on lunch or something. On average, women actually spend more time on their bikes than men do, which is a pretty interesting fact. I mean, now that I moved to Vegas, <laughs> I spend a good amount of time on my bike. Uh, the other day was like the first time I drove my truck in like, I don't know, like two weeks, so. But uh, yeah, so they spend more time on their bikes. Um, a healthy number, a healthy percent of these women actually went to college and graduated, I think is what it says. All these went. So, that's a good fact. You know, I went to college with no woman. Yeah, no, it was attended college, my bad, but same deal. Lunch break. So, where were we? We were talking about how 19% of all motorcycle riders are women, which is awesome. Uh, I think we left out on um, a lot of them went to college. So, while I'm on the way to the house for lunch, let's finish up. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, although I don't know what Gen Y is, because I don't do that kind of research, 26% of Generation Y is, uh, Generation Y riders are women. More than half of uh, the riders are women. Riders are married. Ha <laughs> ha. See, my wife included, because you know she's my wife. Ha ha ha. That's how marriage works. I guess. Yeah. You know. Where were you from? Uh, let's see what else does this thing say. Oh. Ah. 
40%, 48% actually, of uh, all the women riders here that we're talking about here ride cruisers. Not not many sport bike riders, but um, you know, I can't say anything. My wife rides a cruiser. I think it's all about personal preference, but you know, give it a try, see what you like. Um, well, I guess that's that. Oh, but I'm not making it to, you know, I'm just making it because I think it's awesome. Uh, I think it's awesome that women ride motorcycles and they're police officers and firefighters and everything else under the sun. Because, again, I believe in a woman can do anything a man can do. Um, no matter if you're black, white, purple, blue, green. Uh, it's all it's all relevant under the same eyes here so um, yeah so um, there's more to that article but my phone turned went black and I went to sleep um, so once I get to the slide of the stage red we'll continue what we're talking about here some gas. Ooh, something smells good. <laughs> um let's see. Actually there's uh According to some stuff, there are a number of women who are actually taking courses for, uh, you know, advanced rider courses and things like that. Uh, track days for women only. So things like um, Babes Ride Out, and that's good for women. I know Nikki Ventures went to like Babes Ride Out 6. Uh, I think Dan did a whole little thing uh, for her when they were talking about it in the video. I'll try to find that. Um, come on, one. Ooh, perfect timing. And put that and link that. Let's see. What else is there? Uh, well, while I'm eating lunch, I'll do some research on it and then on my way back to work, we'll talk about it. Heading back to work, but what I want to talk about, we're going to talk about, you know, the baby, not the baby try out. It'd be something to talk about, but uh, that's about it. <laughs> Women riders is what we're talking about. And, uh... But they're doing a lot of other things besides riding, so that's... So they're making their own moto gear. Uh, Google gear, Stirling Moto Riders, Kirby Riders, and Worse for Wear, all started by female riders. Um, so with that, and then Revzilla, uh, their clothing uh, market for women has shown an increase in sales. So basically, women are, you know, good for, uh, they're doing good, you know, they're, they're making their own footprint uh, in the motorcycle industry, which is good. And like, there's a lot more stuff in this article that I'm not talking about uh, so uh, definitely give it a read it's a really good read I read it last night and uh, you know give it up to all the women who are riding and making the uh, gear for for uh, the women riders and stuff like that um, if you like the video make sure you give it a like 
comment down below what the fuck is that look at that shit comment down below give it a like share it with everyone you know and if you haven't already don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel Look at that monstrosity. Holy shit. Surprise it rolls.